hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel on today's video i share with you a typical puerto rican meal which is bianda or root vegetables but with a twist and the twist is with corned beef so if you're interested then please keep watching so for this bianda i am using plantains batata which is a spanish sweet potato or is it a chinese sweet potato i'm not sure but anywho it's yellow in the inside not orange some green bananas and some malanga i prefer the lavender ones which are these but they also come in white so basically guys what we do is we peel we chop and we boil now the size of how you want your veggies chopped depends on you and um, what I like to do is I like to start with the harder vegetables first the ones that take a little bit longer to cook and then my method the method to my insanity is that at the intervals of 10 minutes um, after this has been in there for 10 minutes I'll add the next veggie that will be the malanga and then so on and so forth so in the intervals of how long it takes for each of them to cook i do them in, in 10 minute segments you know so that um that way they have a good time to cook and then they're all pretty much done completed at the same time now i'm only using these vegetables but they also you, there's also different vegetables like the cassava la yuca um there's also yame and um, there's also a panapeng, which I love. I love so, so much panapeng. So you see this one is nice and chopped. I mean, peeled, and then I just chop it in half, put it in here with on a bowl that I have here on the side with water. And yeah, guys, so um, we'll continue with the chopping here. Malanga, I like to leave its size. As you can see, it has a nice size. But if it's way bigger and thicker than this, then I would be cutting it in half. Now, when cutting the plantains, I like to cut them in half first. And then I'll just slice them. And then just cut them. You can either leave them as is, depending on the size of the plantains. But is it me, guys, or the plantains look smaller and smaller every time you go to the market? I don't know. It could be me, but I don't know. So you can use your finger to just, you know, take the skin off. You see? Now, since these are pretty small, I'm just going to leave it this size. Now the bananas will be the last thing I put into the boiling pot of water because they will be, uh, they will be, they'll be, excuse me guys, they will cook very quickly, alrighty? So it'll be the last thing that I put inside the boiling water. Now as you can see here, I have a pot of boiling water, I did salt it, so now I'm going to put the batata, the sweet potato. That'll go in first. And like I said, I will be doing the intervals of 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, I will then put the malanga. Look how nice and pretty that looks. You see the lavender color? These are my favorites. I know I mentioned it already, but I had to plug that one in there again. So in 10 minutes, we'll add the malanga ready guys 10 minutes have passed so now i'm going to add in the malanga now remember i said i was gonna do bianda with the twist here is the twist guys instead of doing the norm the normal Puerto Rican way, which would be with codfish, bacalao, I am doing it with corned beef. Now, 
most of you know that corned beef was a typical staple in any Puerto Rican household, especially growing up. But you know what's going on now, guys? Corned beef has become a delicacy. Isn't that crazy? It is no longer poor people food like it used to be back in the day. So, I drizzled a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan, and now I am frying a little bit, cooking up a little bit. But this is already cooked, guys. You know, we're just doing our Puerto Rican thing here. And just frying it up here a little bit. And then, we'll start adding our ingredients. Off camera, I chopped up some green peppers, green bell peppers, a red onion, and a handful of cilantro. Plus we also have some fresh garlic. So we'll add in the garlic first, about a tablespoon of garlic. You can do more or less depending on your preference. Like I always say guys, you do you. This is my way, my version, but you do you. Plus I have my homemade sofrito. I'll do a tablespoon of that. And you just start mixing it up in there. To this we'll add a couple of tablespoons of tomato sauce. You can do paste if you like. I just prefer sauce. Put that up in there. I don't know if you can actually see it guys. Can you see? Now we'll add in the fresh chopped veggies. Stir fry that up a little bit in there. We'll leave the cilantro for later. Now, if I would be doing this with white rice or some kind of rice, I would also fry up some yellow plantains and put them in there. Or some french fries. Tell me, what do you prefer with guys? Yellow plantains or french fries? To me, french fries... It was good, but the yellow plantains are the best. Also, my mom used to do it with yellow corn. So now we're gonna add in like that very can that it came in, just that amount of water. I'm gonna let this cook in there a little bit and we'll add a little bit of oregano. favorite sazon. I mean sazon. My favorite adobo guys. My favorite adobo. Adobo badia. I like this one because it's not salty. It's just flavorful. And don't forget that the corned beef already has salt so you don't want to put too much stuff in there. And now my favorite sazon. One packet. Stir this in here. You can add more or less water depending on how you like your corned beef. Or if you're gonna do this for the first time, guys, just do it to your taste, okay? Just do it to your taste. Let this sit here for a bit. Cover it up. While our corned beef continues to cook, let's add in our green plantains. As you can see, our veggies are starting to cook well. Just adding our green plantains. And like I said before, 
another 10 minutes and then we'll add in the green bananas now this stuff is optional guys but i love olives i mean i can just eat them out the jar if you let me so i'm gonna add in a couple of tablespoons here of some sliced spanish olives you can do the pitted olives in the hole or you can do the ones with the pits however you like guys like i always say you do you now we'll add in our handful of cilantro mix that in there let this cook down for a couple of more minutes and it'll be ready to serve soon guys looks yummy already doesn't it mm -mm -mm. look at that Alrighty guys time has come the last thing i'm putting in are the green bananas and then we'll just wait for everything to get nice and tender like i said the green bananas are the ones that will cook the quickest so corned beef is done guys yummy yummy Can't wait for the veggies to be done and we're gonna have our bianda con corned beef. <laughs> Alrighty guys, they look nice and tender. All in all, I've had my vegetables cooking in for about 45 minutes. So, now comes the good part. Take the banana out. I'm just going to take some pieces out and we're going to plate it. Okay, guys? We're just plating our food now. Now, here comes the twist part, guys. Mm -mm -mm. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some of our delicious corned beef on top of our biandita. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without some avocado slices. And I have here Haas avocado slices, so you know they're small, but they're oh so yummy guys. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below telling me what you think about this video and how you guys do your corned beef or if you're willing to try it for the first time. Also, the root vegetables. You can drizzle a little bit of olive oil if you like it even more wet. And that's all good, guys. That is all good. So once again, I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to look for me on Facebook as a little bit of everything and on Instagram, a little bit of everything DIY. Oops, sorry guys. But that being said, once again, I thank you for watching and blessings to you all.